So in iOS 8, Apple has given us some cool new features for our keyboard. This first feature that I'm going to go over is only available on the iPhone, so it's not available on the iPad. Uh, however, stick around iPad users, there is another feature that I will cover in the latter portion of the video. But first, the iPhone feature. In iOS 8, Apple has added a really cool new feature to their keyboard. It's called predictive typing. Now there are some Android keyboards already like this, but I think this one is a really special because it's context-based. So I'll show you what that means in a second. So if I'm about to type a sentence, I really like the... Now it will uh, pull up some results that it thinks that I'm going to say next, even based on other things that I have previously said, based on my contacts, based on other notes, stuff like that. It will recommend things based on the context of my sentence. Uh, so I really like the years. Uh, I really like this is my location that I'm in, Broadview, uh, or Trium is an organization that I'm in. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and say summer. And uh, it does recommend that word after I type a little bit of it. I really like this summer because I like to go to the... And again, it gives me some recommendations that this time don't really fit the context, but it probably doesn't know what summer is. Uh, after I type in BE, though, it gives me the option of beach. So uh, that is predictive typing, and I found it, uh, it, it isn't really useful, as you can see, with smaller words, because they're easier to type in than to wait and see if it will offer a prediction for them. But it's really nice for larger words. It usually does a good job at eventually, uh, after a few letters, it is able to guess what word it is that I want to say. Uh, so I have found several instances where it's able to really save me a lot of uh, typing of letters in order to type in a big word. Now I want to show you something that's really cool. I'm going to head over to messages. This is where the context comes in really nice. So say I got this message uh, from my friend asking me if I wanted to go to Chipotle or Panera for lunch. So he gave me a choice, either Chipotle or Panera. So the iPhone knows, hey, I'm probably going to respond either Chipotle or Panera. So if I go to my keyboard, it offers me the choices Panera, Chipotle, or not sure. So I think this is just incredible. Uh, th the first time I uh, recognized this was when my friend asked me uh, a similar question. Uh, they gave me two options, and I saw that this predictive typing put those two options in there and I all I had to do was tap on one of it and hit send and it was amazing. Uh, this is a really a cool feature I think uh, that it's able to recognize that text from the message and really recognize the meaning, recognize that there is an either or option there and I can just really easily tap to say my choice. Another thing Apple is allowing us to do in iOS 8 is install third-party keyboards. Now, this is something that the Android users are all uh, having their uh, good time about with, oh, we've had third-party keyboards forever now. However, I, I think this is going to be really different uh, because Apple recognizes that there is a privacy concern with third-party keyboards. And so they have actually uh, made it so that when you install a third-party keyboard onto your device, you can essentially cut off network access to it. And so that kind of dim diminishes the threat of the developer of that keyboard getting every single keystroke that you make uh, and using that to possibly hack into some accounts. If you were to use that keyboard to type in your username and password for accounts, heaven forbid some of your bank accounts maybe, so that is a real privacy concern that currently exists on the Android platform. Apple has kind of squashed that threat by allowing you to cut off network access to those keyboards so that they're essentially just keyboards and they're not sending your information over the internet to a, an unknown server that can really use your information against you. So uh, I can't show you any third-party keyboards right now because there are none at this point in the beta process. However, I am... Uh, more than sure that there will be plenty of third-party keyboards to choose from by the time iOS 8 is released in the fall. 
So for those of you that don't know, third-party keyboards are keyboards that you can download and uh, they are from other developers, not Apple, but you can use them instead of the Apple keyboard. So before iOS 8, you were only able to use Apple's keyboard, what they gave to you. And they had some other uh, keyboards for other languages, but maybe uh, some people wanted a different layout, they wanted something a little different, maybe larger icons, I don't know. Uh, but uh, now, third-party developers can offer their keyboards on the App Store, and they can be downloaded to replace Apple's keyboard. Now this may be a really helpful for English users mostly. Uh, on Android there is a keyboard that you can uh, just swipe your finger around the keyboard without lifting it, and it will use that to uh, kind of predict what you are going to type based on the swipes and where your finger landed on the keys. So we will most likely see a keyboard similar to that show up on the App Store to be able to replace on your iPhone. 